What's this? It's another Minecraft server tour. Well, since I haven't gotten a tour video up since like over a year ago, I decided to try something new this time. Where I'm gonna record a video of just 15 minutes long. And here you can see my timer is ticking. So when that's done, I'm gonna end the video and the idea is just to make a bunch of tour videos that are 15 minutes each and to basically breeze through the server while hopefully giving some nice commentary along the way. So first of all, if you're only following us from the videos, then these things might look new to you. These are the portals that we travel to the different worlds on the server. So this is actually the third Minecraft server. We never had any videos of the second Minecraft server. Um, so the, the first Minecraft server was this world, which we, we moved to this one. The second one was this world, Inter-Server 2. Let's go through here. Inter-Server 2. So this was the the December version, I think, of the, the Minecraft server. We actually lost the server many months later, but this was our latest backup. And ever since then, I learned to make more, much more frequent backups. So this whole area I designed. Um, I'm flying now in creative mode. Um, I designed this tower and I was designing this thing. It lo actually looked a lot better um, a few months in later, but I wasn't able to finish it sadly. Um, we lost the second Minecraft server when our hoster lost our data. They were moving servers around and they completely lost all our data and fumbled and it was horrible. But that made us to start a new server again and this time we actually brought back the old world because this world was way too disjointed like you can like I, I just flew around for a while but you can barely see almost anything in the distance everything is so far away from each other over there were some floating islands so yeah back to the tour I'm gonna be browsing through different because m many of the things in this world have already been transferred over transferred over so well, that's a glitch. If we get closer to it, it'll disappear. Okay. Hey, so this is the back door. Somebody built the back door to the beacon. That's kind of cool. This is how the back of the beacon looks like. One of the things I loved about the, the current spawn, oh, the XNER. <laughs> so this is a horizontal. This is a never-ending road, basically. Somebody, I don't know who built it, but the the other end, another never-ending road is a is perpendicular to this one. It's not this road, but it, it's over there. And I guess this is the joke of it. I, I personally haven't even seen this in, up until now. This is my first time going through the back entrance or the back exit. Looks like someone's building something here. I'm, g I'm not going to go through here yet. I'm, I want to show off spawn. Northern Spawn City. Oh, cool. So Spawn City has been expanded a lot, a lot, although not by that much. Here's the D52 Tower. Um, these are fence gates. Not floating fences. Got a gas station. So here's where we get on the rail. I'm not gonna go on there yet. Someone made this building. I really don't like how most of the buildings here, even though I, it's cool to have more buildings in the spawn region, but I, I, I'm kind of sad that they're all empty. It's like most people don't realize that real architecture is about the inside as much as the, the outside. <laughs> Talking about real architecture like I'm an architect. So this is actually, if some of you might recognize this building. It's was built by Red Bow, I think. It was originally placed located in um, Light Town, but I moved it here because it was a lot of people were complaining of how big of an eyesore it was. 
I mean, it's a really absurdly huge building. It, it just seems like a better fit for Spawn City rather than Tiny Light Town. I believe this tunnel leads to Pixel Art Park, but before I go there, I want to show off some more buildings. Oops. It's okay. So this... I wonder what this is. I haven't seen this yet. Looks like a train station. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure who built these, who built, who did all this work. They cleaned out the, a lot of the past in Spawn City. I remember complaining before that it was pretty crowded and a mess, and it, it kind of still is, but at least it's a lot more organized now. It's, it's much nicer with all these roads, and even the elevation changes, that's really cool. It's pretty awesome. Now, I don't know who built this building. I think I heard that it might have been Darkness. These twin towers, in a way. I got a stream. So here's a good view. Enchanted item research. It's so cool how Spawn City feels way more alive now. Although somebody, so this is Isa's cave. Somebody built a building on top of it. Might have been Darvin's. If he really is the one who built these things. So part of the plan of these videos is that even though they're 15 minutes long, I've also comp did not prepare at all for these. So I could have done more research or something, or at least asked around, but that would have taken me some time and I, I probably would have lost my motivation to make these videos so here's a museum and if any, anyone remembers here um, this is where the beacon is over here used to be just a ton of empty space with minecart rails and dirt and there used to be a minecart rail over here but somebody cleaned it out I, I still like how all these signs were preserved it lets you feel like all oh, the world's much bigger and there's lots of stuff to see exp farm by dark there's really no reason to make an ESP spot because this is creative not survival. But I guess it's kind of cool. Oh, let's look at this one. Safe haven, place to sleep at night. But you don't need. <laughs> Tunnel. Actually, I thought this was the museum, but it's not. This is the the enchanted item region. I will the bomb. In books, one chest is full. Got oh, places to go. People to see. Well, there's nobody online right now. Except me. By the way, if you're only following us through our videos. Oh, let's see. So that's me, that's how I look like. I'm Livio. Okay. Also known as Excello. Well, not anymore really. So I'm going to got five minutes left. I'm just gonna walk down this path and see where it takes me. Who built these tunnels? And why are they going? Whoa, this is cool. So I was just here before. This is a turn I made earlier. Let's read the signs and figure out where we're going. Horseshoe Valley that way. Beacon. Arena. Guy Guy. Horseshoe Valley. Horseshoe Valley. Which way? Is... This, this is really cool. NER. Guy Guy's Cabin. But what's... This? Spawn City. 
It's a nice day. Where's your family? Let's go. Where's your family? Oh, it's nighttime. Ah, uh, this place. What's that? Is that what I think it is? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty high up. So, we came out from somewhere. Over there, that's where we came out from. And that's one of the buildings that we passed. That's the building that's on top of Vice's cave. Someone built a path onto a tree and into the mountain. This is a dangerous path and also claustrophobic. Hey, what's this? Battle in the healing waters of Skyward. Or Bathe. I believe this is goes to Horseshoe Valley. Ah, yes, here we are. So, that's Horseshoe Valley Fort. I think Jazz built it, if I remember. And that, that tunnel leads through the fort and into the other side and up to Pixel Art Park eventually. Um, this is the, the station of Horseshoe Valley. I think I built this. Yeah, I definitely built this. The idea was to have, to make it feel like a station. And so there's like a, um, I think some, actually somebody else built this originally and then I modified it. I just, it was super claustrophobic before. It was like built for people who aren't scared of claustrophobia. <laughs> that was bad. Um, Sunrise Bay, and you see there are all these um, rails here. They used to be a much bigger mess than they were now. And it's a good thing we built this station. Oh, somebody built a pretty awesome house over here. The Dar Dar Hotel. Sounds like Darvin's. So it's not a house, it's a hotel. Um, the tunnel over here, this bridge over here kind of lost its charm because it's got a, a rail on top of it. But you can see the, this is my house by the way. If you climb on my balcony or on my deck actually, you can see the shape of the hotel. It's pretty cool. Let's go. We got two minutes left. Hey, what's that? Tree top road. I'll take it some other day. So yeah, it's empty. And oddly enough, there's no ceiling here. It's like you're in an office, but instead of computers, it's beds. Now we're here at the top of the, the hotel. There's this really cool lounge area and a, a bar thing. It's actually a pub. Minor, don't let your kids in here. <laughs> Only employees and DJs may enter. So I think that's the DJ. DJ. This is the where you buy stuff. Supposedly. There's a hole in the wall. There's a door. There's my two-story house. But what I really want to go to is this path. How do I go through that? Looks like we're in that tunnel system again. Top road. 
this is claustrophobic. Angel's Peak, Swamp City. Got 10 seconds left. Okay, so time's up. So next time we'll explore some of the other sections. Maybe the XN yard next time, because I haven't explored that yet.